<laughs> my name is Ebony Stevenson, a USDA Access and Accountability Organizer here at Young Farmers, and I am joined by Shakira. You want to introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Shakira Regoza, and I am the Farm Service Agency Technical Assistant for Young Farmers. And we have Letitia from Communications on Deck monitoring the Facebook chat. So our live today is going to be shorter than our other lives due to we know that everyone has a lot going on for the holidays. And so Shakira is going to take us away with a short training, um, and then we're going to be open up for questions afterwards. Take it away, Shakira. All right. Well, thank you for joining us during the lunch hour. We will be looking at another tool that's out now with the FSA loans webpage, and this is a loan discovery tool, and it helps you decide which loan is best for you. It's very intuitive. You ask, you answer a few questions, and they'll they'll give you your results in a matter of uh, seconds. So we'll go in and play around with the tool and um, test out some scenarios. All right, so this is the farmers.gov page. This is a good home start for all things um, related to farm loans. You can even find information you can see about uh, protection and recovery, like insurance for your crops, comfort conservation. So NRCS, you can find information here. But today we're gonna be focusing on loans. So I always like to start at farmers.gov and go to the loans link. So we're already here. And this new tool is located at the bottom of the screen. So we're gonna scroll down. So here we have the farm loan discovery tool. And note that it's also available in Spanish. So it's pretty simple to filling out a, a online form, form. So yes, we are interested in loans, but if you select no, they'll share a link with you with information about grants. So some of us aren't sure if loans are right for us. You can also learn about grants in this uh, page as well. But we're gonna start over. Let's say we do, we're ready, we wanna learn about loans. And we are looking for a loan for a beginning farmer. They do have youth loans available and we can share some information about that. Um, you can reach out and I can share info about youth loans later. But now we're gonna focus on farmers, um, for profit farmers right now. So what are you looking to fund? You can use FSA loans to buy land, or you can also use it for a construction project. So that will fall into the ownership air area. You can use it for equipment, seeds, et cetera, kind of like all your basic supplies and um, materials you need for operating. And you can apply for both. So we're gonna select both so we can get the most information. So I know many of us, if we're buying land, we probably need to buy some extra equipment to farm it. So more than likely, you probably wanna uh, two uh, loans. FSA can loan you money um, of 100,000 or less that will fall into the micro loan category. Uh, between 100,000 and 1 million is another one, and then loans over 1 million. We're gonna go right in the middle. I think that's where most of us fall in line. So we're gonna play around with this scenario first. You can select your state. You can select Alabama, Baldwin County. And they are asking for your state because at the end of the questionnaire, they'll link you or share the information for your local service center. 
So your results here will show that you want to apply for a direct farm ownership and operating loan. So you'll get both together and you can apply as an individual or as an entity. So if you're operating as an LLC, that would be your application. There's a couple of extra forms for that application. And so also if you're an individual, there's a, a guide for you for that. So we're going to come down here and it gives us a lot of different information. So it says, how much money can I get? The maximum combined loan amount is 1 million. So that's combining both your direct ownership loan and your operating loan together. The max you can borrow for an operating loan is 400,000 and the max you can borrow for the ownership loan is 600,000. And here it says interest rates are calculated monthly. You can click here if you want to know the interest rates. So for December, you can take note for the direct operating loan, it's at 5.125. And for the direct ownership loan, it's at 5%. So each loan has its own interest rate and these change monthly. That's saying that when you're applying, you'll get the rate that's enforced at that month. But after you close, that rate is set for the term of your loan. So your rates are not going to jump up and down. So we're going to go back to where we were before. So we're going to say yes, no, to, and we're applying for both. Sorry about that. We're, I zoom through this part. All right, so it gives you some basic information about the loans. What can you use it for? Like I mentioned, you can use a ownership loan to buy land, but also for construction. Let's say you're gonna put in a permanent structure, like some irrigation, like a well, or if you're gonna be building a home or a barn, uh, any facility this would fall under the ownership loan as well also if you are going to be buying down here equipment tools you would be applying for the operating loan so it tells us what things do qualify and what doesn't so you cannot use the funds for birds tropical fish dogs horses for racing or pleasure for show and boarding or any enterprise that is not typically associated with human consumption, uh, fiber, or draft use. So that means that if you're going to be having um, agritourism, you can get a loan specifically for that. But if you have a production side of your agritourism, you can get funds for that portion. And we can help you if you have more questions about that. Who can apply? It tells you that if you're a farming or, or a rancher for profit who doesn't qualify for a lend, uh, loan with a commercial lender, that means first you would have to reach out to a bank or know if you're eligible to qualify for a loan outside of FSA. Then you also need to have some farm experience for ownership loans. That's if you're buying land, three years of farm management experience. They do allow some substitutions so if you did any type of uh, apprenticeship, internships, and in farming, uh, that will count. I think some military service also counts, um, credit hours and a degree. All of those things can help qualify for the farm management experience. And next, when do I pay it back? They will decide based on your farm business plan, the term of your loan. For ownership loans, they can vary, you know, between um, 20 years, 40 years. For operating loans, it, if you're buying, purchasing items for just one year, let's say you're going to get your compost for one season, then that's an annual expense. So you're going to have to pay that back in one year. But if you're buying a tractor or an implement, that would be a seven year item.
You know, we get uh, several questions also about collateral. So this gives you some background information about what's required. Some loans, you only are required to put up 100% collateral, which could be the equipment that you're purchasing. Um, if you're buying land, then the land would be your collateral. So uh, they try and get up to 150% when it's available. I wanted to just highlight this and there's always links out to get more information if you have questions. I'm scrolling up because we're going to start over again and uh, talk about some other options for if you're buying more than 1 million. So I know farmland is going up everywhere. So you may need to apply for a loan over 1 million. I'm just gonna pick a, a state and a county. Okay, so your suggestion, if you are looking to uh, purchase land or you need um, a structure that's gonna be over 1 million, uh, they suggest that you apply for a guaranteed loan. So guaranteed loans are a little bit different from your traditional loan. Instead of working with the local FSA office, you're gonna work with an approved lender. FSA has a list of lenders that they have approved to work with and that they will guarantee loans with. And in that situation, you would work with your commercial bank and, guarantee, and FSA only backs your loan. So for, for example, you can't make a payment um, you're getting behind, FSA is going to pay that bank back. So they feel less at risk in lending to uh, a beginning farmer um, who's just getting started. So how much can I get? These loan amounts are changing um, all the time and they are indexed based on the inflation or other interest rates at the time. Um, so right now i believe you can borrow up to two million so these are going up this is a, a change that was noted in the last year before it was at 1.85 so um, if you want to know how much uh, you can borrow just reference back to this site so this is the fsa usda.gov site so you can borrow up to two million thirty seven thousand through the guaranteed loans Let's see if it'll let me go back. We're gonna have to go through it again. We'll 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 be quick. Um, let's see. All right. So it um, asks you what you can do with the loan. You can use it for the same uses: uh, buying land, buying equipment basic supplies, um, even for labor, for your, for your staff, but also for um, family living expenses for that year. Who can apply? Um, okay, so for guaranteed loans, you need to be classified as a family farm. That means that you are participating in the decision-making or you're contributing uh, to the labor. And then next, they do have some programs specifically for beginning farmers, minority farmers, women farmers. So you can qualify for, um, for help with the guaranteed loans. Anything else I should know? You apply for these loans through a USDA approved bank or commercial lender. You must agree to the terms and conditions. If you're not sure if your bank is approved or not, reach out to your local FSA office and they can share a list with you. The other thing about this, um, I don't see it listed here, but when you're applying for a guaranteed loan, you don't have to meet that three year management requirement. So that's why some people try to go for the guaranteed loan because you, you might not have those three years of farm experience. 
So that's an, uh, an advantage when you go through the guarantee loan process. And it can also be faster than the FSA loan process, which can take up to 90 days. All right. Just one last one we'll uh, explore here. Uh, before we go, it's going to be the microloan program. I know we've been highlighting that a lot for startup farms. So we're going to just share it again in case you didn't see our last session about microloans. The microloan program is for startup farms. So you can only borrow up to 100000 in both categories. I mean, with both combined. So meaning that you can borrow 50,000 for ownership, which would be land purchase or construction, and 50,000 for your operating expenses. So all of that is listed here. The interest rates are the same as for the larger loans. So if you uh, can go back to that other website, you'll check the farm ownership rate and the operating rate they'll be the same for microloans. There is still the requirement for three years of farm management experience when you're uh, buying land and you can be uh, flexible in meeting that, like I mentioned, through education or um, military experience. And there is also the programs for minority farmers, women farmers that are set aside uh, funds so that the funds that they have available to lend out are not exhausted. So you can, they have money set aside just for, for those groups. The same goes for microloans and the collateral requirement. You can put up uh, up to 100% they try to go for 150 percent and they will come and assess the land they will assess the equipment and make sure that the value matches the price of the loan the cost of the loan and for the terms when do i pay it back farm ownership funds um, the maximum repayment term is 25 years and for farm operating, it's the same as the bigger loans, one to seven years. Anything else I should know? Let's just read through here. Uh, the farm ownership and operating microloan should be combined on a single loan application. So if you're applying for both types, just uh, there's one application packet that you can use for both. And the loan is supervised credit. So this means that you will have some check-ins with the service center employees and they will be available throughout the life of your loan to help address issues and answer questions. And you will have to develop a business plan and farming goals alongside your loan officer. And that is all I have. I mean, this is a very easy tool to use. You can answer, um, find answers to some very basic questions about the program. And just to go here, just highlighting, after you've gone through this loan discovery tool, we highlighted uh, previously the loan assistance tool. And this is a very similar setup. It'll go over your eligibility requirements, back over loan discovery, but also form support. So this is key if you, figured out which loan you are interested in, you can come here and you can preview the package. You'll know exactly what's what they're going to ask you for and you can start preparing right now to get your documents ready because that will um, streamline your application process so there won't be a lot of back and forth with the office if you're missing documentation. So just encourage you to check this out if you're considering the loans. Um, they have all the forms listed here and there's a tool that'll help you understand how to fill it out 
You can see the form here on the right. If you're not sure what goes in each field, you can click and it'll explain to you. You know, your full legal name as it's on your driver's license. So it'll go through each section and um, you can also print out the form once you're done. You can also download the form here. So if you wanna fill out the form here, you will have to either print it or download it because once you close the page, it's gone. So that's the only downside to this. Um, are there any questions? No, uh, we don't have any questions in the chat. Um, I would just like to say thanks again, <laughs> Shakira. Um, this is such an awesome tool to use, like especially when you're starting out and you have all of these questions about which loan you should apply for, like what are the pros and cons to each of the different loans. Um, and so being able to start off with that process of just entering your information and then it gives you the recommendation and then connects you over to your local office so that you can get support that you need, that's super dope. Um, I don't have any questions. And so I just wanted to say, uh, Shakira, uh, if people do have questions, how can they reach you? Yes, I can be reached at Shakira at youngfarmers.org. And I'm not sure if it's um, available in the comments, but we'll get that in the comments. But yes, please reach out to me. I'm here to assist you with the loan process. And if you have any other questions, um, I can help you with the forms and get you connected to the local office. And then also, once again, my name is Ebony Stevenson, USDA Access and Accountability Organizer here at Young Farmers. If you're going through this process and you feel like um, you've had, you faced some discrimination um, in the process of filling out your application or with your local office, you can definitely reach out to us as well. Um, you can reach me at ebony, E-B-O-N-E-E -E, at youngfarmers.org. Thank you so much, everyone who's watching right now, everyone who will watch in the future, and happy holidays.